What's up guys, Evil Deer here, your god, and tonight we're going to do a book review. The book in question is Traduku from William Old. Now, the reason I'm doing this first in my room is just because it's so late here and I don't want to do it where my normal filming equipment is and my fancy microphone and stuff because I'll wake up the whole goddamn household. And the reason I'm filming so late is not because I'm lazy. No, Evil Deer isn't lazy. He doesn't just do things out of laziness. Well, maybe he does sometimes. But the reason I'm filming so late is because I just completed an interview with a pretty important Esperanto speaker. Um, I'm not releasing that yet because we're going to first edit it and all that type of stuff and make sure everything's fine. But in a few days that should be coming out or maybe even tomorrow, I don't know. So that is really exciting. But as a result, that went really late and now I have to film in my room like Golem type of thing. So anyway, yes, we're going to be looking at the book Traduku. Now Traduku is basically a collection of um, English to Esperanto translation exercises that were ripped directly from the, pra the, from the pages of La Brita Esperantista, which was a magazine, I don't know if it still is, maybe some of the British Esperantists here. If you guys, tell me down in the comments below, does La Brita Esperantista still exist? But anyway, at the time, it was edited by William Old when this, after this book came out, okay? And what he used to do is with each new edition of the magazine, he would put a like an English article in there, like an extract from an article. Um, and it would be, I don't know, from the news, from a book, from somewhere. It didn't matter. He'd put it in there and then they would have to translate it to Esperanto as closely as possible, so keeping as much nuance as possible, keeping as much of the same type of structure as possible, um, which obviously is quite different to just talking in everyday, because when you talk everyday Esperanto, you don't you don't worry about like translating from English to Esperanto, you think directly in Esperanto, but when you're translating from any language into another language and you're trying to keep that as much of that original um, nuance as possible, you then have to really dig down into the meaning of the text to translate it while also trying to keep it as close as possible. So this book here, which is purely in Esperanto, is basically a list of all those exercises with their finished translation and the translations weren't just done by William Old, who by the way is a freaking legend in Esperantuyo. Um, the guy even was nominated for a Nobel Prize in Literature, not, not just because of his Esperanto work but because of everything he did. But he is like a legend when it comes to anything written, poetry, all that type of stuff because he was just so good. Um, if you haven't read La Infana Haraso, go check that out. That's um, that's pretty crazy poem right there. I've never finished it to be honest, um, but it's freaking hard to understand, even for a really experienced Vespranus. But going off topic, so yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flick through a few pages in this book and I'm gonna show you well, not show you, I'm gonna show you a couple of extracts because what's happened is when they come across something that was really difficult to translate, and remember, this wasn't just him translating, it was like the entire Esperanto community at the time working together and translating, um, they would obviously discuss a particular word and then come at a solution. So what I'm gonna do now is just jump straight through and I'm gonna find you some of the ones that I really liked. Um, just straight up, there's nothing in particular, just I'm gonna pick random ones that I like, okay? Okay, so this is the first one, it was actually in the first exercise, and it's a translation of Tempers Were Short, and they've translated this in two possible ways. The first one is Ek Koleri Gemmo, and the second one is Koleremo Facile Aktivijas. I really like that first one, Ek Koleri Gemmo, and that translates into English as having a tendency to suddenly become angry. That would be the best way of translating off the top of my head. When you look at it in Esperanto, it makes complete sense. So I like that one. So here's one that I remember even after years later from reading this book, and it was explaining the difference between a basically like an adjective ending and an adverb ending when used in a certain context. So the word in question here is Angla Parolanto versus Angle Parolanto. When you look at that at first, you think uh, maybe Angle Parolanto is just a mistake, okay, because they should be using the adjective. No, no, no. You gotta remember, okay, that it's not just a direct translation. Angla Paralanto is a speaker who is English and obviously speaks English. 
Angle Parolanto is a speaker who speaks in English, so not necessarily an English speaker. So for instance, uh, for instance a French speaker can be an Angle Parolanto if they don't natively speak English and they're not from English origin, okay? See, you can add a little bit of nuance there and I kind of like that one. I don't know why I liked it, but I just did. Maybe because it helped me a little bit with adverbs. Okay, so I like this one, okay? This is a translation for fiddling around, okay? To fiddle around. And the word that he's used is fushumi. <laughs> I like that because of the use of um, and also the fact that he uses fushi, which is like to mess up. So fiddling around is fushumi, to kind of mess around with type of thing. It's a pretty cool translation, I like it. I like anything that uses um. Okay, so this is a pretty cool one. Worked myself into a fit, worked myself into a rage. That phrase, worked myself into. And the way he's translated it here is, Successes trudi al mi. That is pretty cool. Successes trudi al mi. So I succeeded to um, like push upon myself type of thing. It's pretty cool. I liked it. Okay, so here's a pretty cool one, and you guys might like to use this as a joke every now and then. To have his way with her or him, you know, depending on your um, point of view. So the way to translate that would be trudi al shi sian inclinon or trudi al shi sian volon. I like it because it's so simple. It makes sense, but. In English, as is so messed up, it's have his way with her. It's like all these random words mixed together. Okay, this is a good one where you'll use a totally different word than what you would expect. And what he's got is a working knowledge, okay? So, you know, a working knowledge of this or that. The way that he's translated this is practicas tio. That is a good way of showing how to use the adjective practica. Okay, so this is a nice English expression I use all the time. Take the piss out of, okay? And actually, is that something that you use in your land where you're, your land, I'm thinking in Esperanto now, something that you use in your country? Take the piss out of is something we always use in Australian English. I don't know about Americans, Brits, and all you other English speakers, but here's how he's translated it. I'm guessing the Brits do because this is a, William Old was a British speaker. Um, so he's got mokachi and ridindigas, okay? Um, and also Pugigas, <laughs> that's pretty cool, Pugigas, to make it into a butt. <laughs> okay, so this is this book is awesome for insults, okay, um, and like inventive insults. So, you know, you can say that person's got bad breath. So you could say Putra Spiro, Haladza Spiro, Spiracho, Odoracha El Spiro, just goes on and on, but I really like Haladza Spiro. I totally forgot about that word, Haladza. That's an awesome word. I'm gonna start using that more now on. Okay, so here's one I love. This is the translation for scruffy, okay? And he's actually got Mal Eleganta. Now, obviously, he's chosen that one because of context, because you could go with many different other decisions, but as soon as I read Eleganta, it reminded me of this awesome Esperanto song. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. You guys gotta check it out. I don't know how to pronounce this. It's called Gorgeous a Esperanto, I think. But the song, like seriously, it is really, really well done. F totally professional. Go watch it directly after this video. Okay, so one final one before I close this off, okay? He's translated Sex in the City. I'm sure you've all heard about that film. You've probably all seen it. I haven't seen it. Um, but he's translated it as Amoro en la Urbego, okay? And the reason I'm putting this one out to you is because he's put in here another possible translation is Amoro en la Civito. Now, the reason I wanted to point that out is because in the Esperanto community, there is a group of Esperanto speakers who are called Esperantillo, or more commonly, La Esperanta Civito, okay? Civito is like a um, city-state type of thing. They are a group of Esperantos who are trying to actually start a internationally recognized Esperanto, um, like, like, landless state, basically, okay? So, La Esperanta Civito, um, when I read that, I read Amoro en la Esperanta Civito, and I was just imagining like love in this Esperanto state type of thing. So that was pretty funny. I just wanted to point that out to you. So that's it. I just wanted to quickly go over a few, few of the cool words in here. There's plenty of insults in here, like really well thought out insults as well, even though he's not trying to be intentional, but because he's translating from English. So that's it. If you've liked this video, give it a like, share it around with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ready, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, I'll find you. And it will be Amoro en Viedomo. <laughs>
And as always, I want to thank my Patreon supporters because realistically, without their help, I don't know how long this channel could go for. So they are Slavish Galayev, Robert Nilsson, Lupe, JZ Knuckles, Jao Figueria, Alexander Tolefesen, Colt Arm, Tommy Lindsley, Shane Power, and Sarah SC. So thanks a lot, guys. You mean the world to me. I want to hug you all. <laughs>